Hello, my wonderful shiny gems. How's it going? Look at all those people today. We got Soul Ray, Zarkon, Wolf Praise. Oh my god, look at them. Look at all them. And even... And what? Zarkon, what is your color keep changing on me? That's so awesome. How's it going? I love the emotes. They're so cute. Oh my god, they're so adorable. <laughs> ah, sorry for the little bit of a wait. I um had to go get my tea. Uh, yes, my tea. My beautiful tea. Um, it, it's Earl Grey for anyone who cares what it is. It's Earl Grey. No, but I had to get tea. I just drank the last of it thinking my container was full and it wasn't. So I had to go get tea. I didn't have a choice. Oh great, my lid's stuck. Okay. I broke my lid. Alright. <laughs> ah, can you... Alright, let's see. So we're actually starting a little early because we're doing D&D &D talks. Um, hold on, let me get onto Twitch real quick. Uh, da, da, da. How is everyone doing? I mean, it's Sunday. It's it's kind of beautiful outside for those who like the sun. Um, but it's not cold. It's not hot. It's like 60-ish. So it's not super hot. Uh, for me, anyways. I don't know about you guys, but for me. Anyways. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Um, what else? We got Zarkon. Zarkon has your back. And then we have Wolf Praise and Soul Ray. Wolf Praise. How's your streaming going, Wolf Praise? Um, and then of course we have Soul Ray. He will hopefully be joining us here shortly. Um, for D&D Talks. Did anyone else magically show up? Mm -hmm. No, no, okay. <laughs> no one else magically showed up. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna discuss um, what Sol Ray calls uh, one-offs. I call them side trips or something like that. <sighs> Same as always. All right. Um, they're basically side missions or just uh, one-offs is actually a very good way of putting it. Um, you you have a pre-made character sheet that either I created or we get off online. Um, and then we run a one-shot, basically, uh, of a little daring adventure really quickly, like two, three hours, the, the amount that we usually do. The, the catch with that statement is that our, our sessions tend to be a lot shorter than a lot of other people's sessions. Um, we're actually one of the few who has about only three, three hours-ish, two to three hours instead of four to five. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, uh, that's, that's what we're going to discuss today. So if anybody has questions on that, let me know. Oh, hot, hot. Oh, good. Hot, but good. <laughs> um, we are at 340 of our 500 follower girls, so let's get this all out of the way. If you have, if you need Discord, there is Discord. And if you want, there's the YouTube channel, which all D&D &D sessions are posted to, along with any um, YouTube, any, um, 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 I don't mind. I don't know how you do that, but I don't mind. What do you mean? Isn't that what we do in Discord? <laughs> um, and then you have uh, Facebook. Yes, we have a Facebook, guys. We do. And then there's the Twitter. If you're next to a Twitterfication device and want more shiny gems in there, let's go and get those shiny gems in here. <laughs> I'm in D&D &D stream, so if you want to hop in, yeah, you're welcome to. Um, sorry. 
Uh, da, da, da. And then, of course, if I think it's up, the multi link for everybody's stream, you can go exclamation point multi, I think. M U L T I. And that will give everybody's multi streamed. Alright. Hey, Sol Ray. Hey. Whoa, you're loud. Hold on. Louder than normal? Yeah. Well, you didn't change anything, so it must be my headset. All right, now try. Testing? One, yep. two? It was my headset. <laughs> okay. No, I, I show your stream on my stream. Oh, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, well, I just wanted your permission because I, I think that's a thing now with co-streaming. I think you can do it, but only if you have permission. Right. So That makes sense. I... I, I get that the permission would be implied, but I, I, you know, might as well just put it in text. Mm hmm Yeah, no, no, yeah, you're welcome. <sighs> All right. Hold, hold hands. <laughs> All right, so anyways, we were going to discuss one-shots. One-offs. <laughs> yeah, one-offs. Okay, maybe they are called one-shots. I just heard it. From one offs, one shots, yeah. same difference. When you said offs, I'm like a one off one shot. <laughs> yeah, one shot. Yeah, it's probably a one shot. I don't maybe I heard someone call it a one off and that's what stuck. I it's same thing to me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, and I don't know exactly how other people do it. But I was thinking about it and I was like, okay, what if we had I mean there's different ways to do it, right? One way is yeah. You could use your characters you already have and just say, hey, this is going to be a dream sequence. And then you just play that dream sequence. Or it could be, you know, a different universe or, or something. But because it's a character you already have, you don't have to make a character. You don't have to learn the spells. You don't have to learn all that. You could just get right to playing. Right. An another way would be to have, like, classes already made. And then you just get to pick which one you want to do. So, mm -hmm. yeah, there's, there's, yeah, there's two ways you could do that, definitely. Mm -hmm. And um, if people are like quick about it, I guess they could just make one up real, really quick and just be like, okay, you know, I'm going to do this and I already know what spells I want, so I can do it real, really quick. But mm -hmm. for, for people who, who can't, because, because I'm thinking this could be for other people who aren't in, in the normal group, like, Let's say today people don't show up and we want to try it. We're like, well, does anybody in chat want to play a, a one-off? Yeah, we can right? do that. And that'll have, it, it's just a, a one-day thing. Just let anybody come in and play that, like Zarkon, right? Just have them jump in, take over a character, and it, it'll be a one-shot. A one, a one shot. And Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, if you're really, really quick about it, what, the thing with one shots is, is you wouldn't get too into the character, right? Unless it's just um, your characters in a dream sequence, then you know your character very well and whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, or and um, the background will be a little right, unclean, like... if that's a good way of putting it. <laughs> yeah, because you don't have to have like a super detailed background because it, 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 there's so many things you could do with the story too it doesn't have to be a from start to finish it could be like hey here's a scenario you exactly you're you know in the middle of a, of a camp which you know it, it's a normal thing but something really strange happened and then you just start from there like you you, you don't have to worry about the introductions about how everybody knows everybody you're already a group, exactly. right? Exactly. Or or the story could be of how you met, and then that's pretty much it. But there's so many possibilities. That... Yeah. Well, and that was the thing. I was going to, um, like, like, last week we had to cancel. We canceled. Mm -hmm. um, but I was, I was so for the one shot, basically, because of the fact that that's basically what I was going to have all day for that instead, because... Mar March 17th, for those of you who don't know, was St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day happens to be my favorite holiday. Um, <laughs> it, it's because I like green, and it's really the only 
green holiday, except for Arbor Day with Arbor Day or Labor Day, something like that. And but St. Patrick's Day happens to be my favorite holiday, and that's what I wanted to do was have you guys kind of in a dream type sequence and you guys go over the rainbow and <laughs> had a yeah. little adventure over yeah, there yeah, type exactly. idea. Yeah, I, I, I think that. Oz was just kind of like, oh, I'm going to have to control someone else's character. <laughs> and he's, he's not and, up for yeah, that. Yeah, no. He's not no, up for no, that. No. And, and then at the same time, it would have only been us three. But exactly. like I said, if we invite people in chat, in Discord, it, it, like if you just put a, 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 hey, you know, real quick, spontaneous in Discord, on Twitter, on everywhere, and see who shows up for, for a one. You never know. We might get like 12 people who want to try it. Exactly. That that would be the catch, though. You'd only want like another two or three people. Yeah, you, that's it. like a handful of people, yeah. That's yeah, true. But no, that that's a good good suggestion. And even then, I could probably, it, it, if I was old enough and didn't have other stuff in the middle of the week that I'm doing we could we could probably consider doing it during the week itself do one shot see if anyone's interested in one shots and whatnot for it well yeah um, but I guess that would be t all to you as a DM you're just like doing all the work well see that's the nice thing though I wouldn't have to be the DM for one shots <laughs> oh yeah I was thinking about that too like what if a, a, a one shot um have you, have you ever played this game or seen people play this game where they make a story but you only input part of it like yep. like I'll say I'll, I'll start and I go okay somewhere in a cabin there's there's these twins a boy and a girl twins and their dad's a lumberjack and their mom's a, a tailor and then it's like okay moon you take it from here and then the you add your a wolf huh the lumberjack's a shapeshifter. The lumberjack, yeah, exactly, right. <laughs> and then the next person goes, and then the, the story kind of continues like that. Like, what if we had a one shot where everybody has a little bit of DMing with the story, and and we let the dice decide on on things of what happens in the story. That would be interesting. I would love to see that. <laughs> I I think that would be a fun experiment. That would be an interesting experiment. Oh, it would be fun too. Yeah, that way you could have a character you, and you'd have a little bit of of input, but it's the same as everybody. So, you know, it's like you won't know exactly what's going to happen. You might think you do because you're at the DM, but right, other people but... are are going to have like they could throw a major curveball. Exactly. And, and that's like part of the improvisation. And you could play as a character. Um, I, I guess the whole rolling behind the scenes, that you'd still have to do that. But right. what those roles mean could be something different. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, that would be interesting and fun all at the same time. Yeah, Zarkon needs to make a character. Yes. And then Bindo and Zarkon's character could be a, a dynamic duel <laughs> in some universe. Getting into so much trouble, getting out of trouble. <laughs> right. You're going to get a Bindo tattoo, Zarkon? <laughs> Yeah, and I had a conversation with someone. It was yesterday, the person that I was talking about, the one-shots, how attached people get to their character, and they don't want them to die. And I'm like, yeah, I don't want my guys to die either, but I know that's part of the game. Mm -hmm. that, that's the thing. I think Who hasn't died? You and Oz are the only two that haven't died yet. And of course, uh, 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 Suga, and um, the yeah. the ones that left before they could even get a chance to get killed or anything. <laughs> yeah, we we got close though. 
Yeah. Oh yeah. I expect you to get close. I don't necessarily <laughs> hope you die though. <laughs> I'm hoping someone gets a revive spell or a scroll or something. <laughs> I, I I know we have a cleric in our group, but I think revive is a way to oh, a bit of ways away. Revive would be in the main city if you ever get to it. So there's no yeah, resurrections. Mm. Yes, there is, but at the same time. If Findle dies, we riot. <laughs> <laughs> I already, I already have two characters that I want to try. Yeah, two characters, really? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've, I've already thought them out too a little bit. One's gonna be a monk, and spoiler alert, he's gonna be kind of like a Jedi. <laughs> that so, sounds like fun. Yeah, and the other guy. Is a barbarian because it seems fun to role play a barbarian in in D and D, and he's gonna be like a uh, what do they call it? a Klingon, where you know honor is is a is a huge thing and they love to fight. So that would give too much away. But those are my two characters that I, I I would think I'd try if if I had to try another character. Awesome. Those would be cool. Okay, there is a resurrection spell. It's a level 7 necromancer, and a bard and a cleric can learn it. It takes one hour to cast it, and you need a diamond. You need a diamond? A thousand gold pieces. Holy crap. Which the spell consumes. Oh, wow. Hey, Oz. How's it going? Wait, you see Oz? I don't see Oz. Where's Oz? Zarkon's still our ruler, though. <laughs> He's still our bit boss. <laughs> is, he, is he just hiding in the lurking type Chat. thing? Yeah, okay. <laughs> but yes, yes. Um, as long as the creature hasn't been turned undead didn't die of old age, and hasn't been dead for more than a century. Century? <laughs> That's a long time to be dead and be back to life. Yeah. And if its, soul, if its soul is free and willing, the target returns to life with all of its hit points. The spell neutralizes any poisons or curse, uh, cures nor cures normal disease afflicting the creature when it died it doesn't however remove magical diseases curses and the like if such effects aren't removed prior to casting the spell they afflict the character on its return to life <laughs> so I'm going to destroy my dreams today i think <laughs> oh god sarkon so the, sorry the revives from the town are you gonna make that cost a thousand gold? The revives from town. What do you mean? The ones that you said revives are in towns. Re, re, yeah. Well, it's um, revive is something different. Oh. oh. This uh. is resurrection spell. I can't spell. I'm thinking they were the same thing. Well, I think revive is a little bit different. Um, well, I get. Well, it used to be something different. You had resurrection and then revive, and uh, now they're all the same. Okay. Yeah, Weird. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> those would be, I don't know. Those would be expensive. Like, definitely, it should be something difficult, right? It's not like a simple. Activity someone takes part in. Hey, can you re revive my friend? But uh, it should also be achievable by somehow. Yeah. Um. Well, yeah, there is a revive. Okay, revivity, which is a third level cleric spell. Revivity or something like that. Uh, mm. cost three hundred gold. Oh. Uh, 
Maximum allowed time after death is one minute. Casting time is one action. Minimum character level is clear five for clerics, nine for pal pal paladins. Um, then you got raise dead, reincarnate. Maximum time allowed after death is 10 days. Requires body, yes. But only one small part. <laughs> the store's body parts, yes. And that costs a thousand gold too. And then you got resurrection. And true resurrection. Which is two <laughs> centuries <laughs> of death. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, yeah, there's, um, there's quite a few versions. I mean, it, it's... Time limit for Revivity is one minute, but it um, doesn't restore any body parts. You need at least an item that costs 300 gold, and it takes one action. Yeah, but I mean, there's ch ch choices and whatnot, and you just gotta be at that level, and I don't think your clerics are level 5, are they? Uh, we're, all, we're all at four. Yeah. Yeah, she, she'll have to wait until level five for that. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is going to destroy your dreams. How is he going to destroy your... Oh, because you're still bit boss, Right, okay. <laughs> um, But yes, one-shots would be an excellent little tool if we know ahead of time there's not going to be people um, showing up. Mm -hmm. And we would w still want D and D going, so. But like last time, we were canceled. What like twenty minutes before we started? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ten fifteen minutes before we started. I'd say it, it, if we know like a day ahead of time, it might be more apt in well, doing so. If if there's already a scenario with default characters. And it's kind of like a like a pickup game. You just say like, "Who wants to play?" Yeah, exactly. And then you could just do it on the spot, and if you don't get any responses, right? But, but you might. <coughs> <coughs> well, if we even have a few of the regulars in general, and then we say, hey, we need like a couple more people who wants to join, then we only need like two, maybe three more people. Yeah. And we could do it that way. And they could and have just, yeah, that. just default, default spells. They could have a default background or personality or, or they could just impose their own if they really wanted to. Um, right. Kind of like NPCs, like uh, Lexi, right? <laughs> like we have Lexi, like you could just say, "Hey, in this one-off, Le we have Lexi here, but no one's controlling. Well, you're controlling her right now. I'm controlling yeah. her. Anybody can say, pick her up, though, really. Yeah, it's like anybody wanting like control her, just give her. She has some armor yeah. and a dagger. If you want to make her a spellcaster or something, you could actually just do that. Like you already have the character. She already has a little bit of story to her. You know what I mean? It, it's not like a perfect stranger. It would just take somebody to actually like take control of them just for that one day. And so that's what I'm thinking. Something you could just like pick up like at, at the spot. But yeah. but if you wanted to do like a side quest, like you're saying, that would probably take some planning. That would that would take a little bit of planning. Yeah, well, there's also pre-made ones too that you could do pick up real quick too yeah hello everyone that joined us oz and rare bean hello Ooh, wow you're low oh am i okay there you go try again is that better yeah there we go okay thank you for retweeting that so Ray. No problem. Oh, I need to do that too. I'm terrible at Twitter. You're terrible at Twitter. I Who's am too. not. I am too. Who's not terrible at Twitter?
Any questions, concerns, or otherwise at the moment? <clears throat> I'm trying not to cough my lungs out. <laughs> no, not really. No? No? Anybody? <laughs> well, I, I'm curious about a uh, one-shotter. <clears throat> Maybe you could test yeah. some out. I wouldn't mind doing that. We could do that. Maybe, like, when we're... I don't know, maybe at a good cliffhanger for you guys or something, we could do a one shot the next week or something. It's totally up to you guys, though. Mm -hmm. How's your uh, feet, uh, Rare Bean? Or is it a foot? Um, my foot's doing good, but my knee hurts. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now it's your knee? Yeah. Now it's the knee. <laughs> oh, good luck, Zer Zarkon. His poor physical therapy. <laughs> physical therapy on a Sunday. Yeah, they're open. My physical therapist is open on a Sunday. <laughs> it's better for people that work during the week so they don't have to take off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In fact, I think they're closed on Mondays. <laughs> Any questions for me, Rare Bean, that you've been mulling around? Mm, no. No? No? I just came to listen. <laughs> ah. And then Oz, I know, never has a question. <laughs> <laughs> He's the smart one of the bunch, right? <sighs> what was it? It was him and... You guys had a couple of smart ones in here. It winds up being Bindle. Everybody's smart. It's just... Not me, no. <laughs> Knowledge of the game itself becomes questionable. Yeah, like uh, Magnus felt like he had grasp a good grasp of the game. Yeah, Magnus was good. Sugar was awesome. <laughs> uh, Talus was great too. I hope he can get back with us soon. Um, I know he got a raw deal. He kind of he kind of showed up. And then had his character killed <laughs> the same day. And now he's like trying to get back. It, 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 it felt like he just didn't get a chance. Yeah. Hopefully he can get back in. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully he can get back in. <sighs> Let's see. What else can we talk about really quickly? Like D&D related? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. D&D related or... Oh, um... Um, um, um... This isn't D&D related, I apologize. I just said D&D related. Mm. It's not gonna be D&D related. I was gonna ask, does any of you guys have Stardew Valley? I do. I do. You do? Because okay. I was thinking of doing some co oping if you're interested. Yeah, it means play that. Know. Yeah. Either that one or, or the other one with the Gravedigger. Um, I've done Graveyard Keeper, I've done My Time at Portia, I've done Stardew Valley, all of those. So. My Time at Portia. Yeah, I want to play it. I don't have it yet, but oh, I want to play so it. it's so good. Yeah, it's so, it's so different from Stardew Valley. Don't, don't let anybody tell you it's the same game because it's not. <laughs> I mean, in ways it is, right? But well, it's, it's, it's so just like dark and dark and light. And <laughs> yeah, it's so mm -hmm. much more like. 
I mean, there's differences in things, so, yeah. But it, it's not, my time at Portia, 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 however you want to say it, is Portia. not a, really a farming game, so think of it that way. It's more of a, like, questing game, but okay. in the farming aspect, <laughs> so... So it has farming yeah. aspects, but it is a questing game. It it has farming, but nothing like Stardew Valley. Nothing. Um, okay. That's not the main goal of the game. Let's say that. Um, it, I still have farming. yet to figure out the main goal yeah. of the game for Stardew Valley. Stardew Valley is to own a farm, build it up, and get married and have kids, basically. <laughs> um, and to do that workshop thing. You know, that area. Um this is there's not really i mean there's farming like i said but not like it's not a main thing in the game so <laughs> okay interesting but Anyways. i love it i think it's awesome so <laughs> all right now let's see mm, yeah okay now let's go back to D D talks <laughs> Yeah, jeez, Moon. I'm off top. <laughs> yeah, please, Moon. <laughs> well, Sorry's the one that usually has the questions, and I love answering them. <laughs> yeah, well, we talked about the, the one shots, and that's, that's the only thing I shots. had, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, let's see. I don't know, Beans was here for that. Well, no, I was not myself either. Yeah, I, <laughs> I was just wondering if she wants to know about them. Because <sighs> they'd be almost like as if the party split up and they each do their own thing. Mm-hmm. It'd be pretty close to that, yeah. Are you going to be streaming this, Beans? No, I'm not. Okay. I'm going to be goofing off in between my turns. <laughs> Please don't. Please be prepared on your turn to hey, do stuff. <laughs> I'm always prepared. It's just... It, it's I'm gonna be like shopping and stuff in between when I'm <laughs> after I have what I'm gonna be doing prepared so yeah. oh my god that that sort of drives me insane <laughs> I was it's a little pet peeve <laughs> I think <laughs> last time I was pretty prepared like yeah, except you for maybe great. like one time and that's just because I had a question but I think yeah, yeah. so I'm trying no, you're great. It's just... it's just if I stream, then I can't, like, have on other streams, you know, and stuff, so... Right. I'm just gonna, like, lay low. Mm -hmm. You're gonna lay low, enjoy yeah. yourself, and enjoy the game. Just sit back and relax. Yep. Oh, you guys are gonna have some fun back into the cave. Yeah. Assuming you're going back into the cave. Fun, huh? I'm, I'm not making any assumptions here. <laughs> I'm gonna run far away. <laughs> not by myself, though, so I'll probably be staying. <laughs> yeah, we did take some damage, but it wasn't as bad as some of the other fights. The, uh... Oh, no, the we encounters. Died. Yeah, well, not everybody, though. Like, other fights. Other fights were really grim. Like, three of us are downed. Well, so. I think if we had kept going, we would have been. Mm -hmm. Yeah, know? and then and then those daily encounters. What did we do? Two straight daily encounters? Uh-huh. That's how we die. <laughs> yep, it's the deadly encounters that get you guys. Yeah, I, there's there's a You're spell. You're the one that wanted. Okay, okay. No. To be fair though, you guys wanted um, uh, Lexi to t take watch, knowing that for some idiotic reason I always roll high. 
And I I did one once because I had the most HP. Yep. So yeah, I, and I you said, always roll. And what are the chances of getting a twelve? And he gets a twelve. Yeah. And I wasn't there that week, and and I was there the next no, week, and I, and I had like nothing, and I was. Like, <laughs> mm -hmm. No, I, I think Hoppus has been really good with those. Uh, but last week there was some bad luck with Oz and um, Hickman. Or a week before last, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the week before last, <laughs> rolling, <laughs> rolling really high. Yeah. And and there is a spell that I'm looking into. Um, I don't know what it, it's called, like something tiny hut. And apparently, it puts a force field over your group. Hmm. And I think I want it just for that, so I you could cast it. Um, before you go to bed. Tiny hut. Yeah. It's, it's like some something. It's like somebody's name. Tiny hut. I know. That's why I'm like trying to. Uh, I'm, 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 oh, Leoman's tiny hut. Yeah. A crystal bread. Okay. Mm -hmm. Which is crystal bread <laughs> or bead? Crystal bead. It's a bead. It looked like bread. Sorry, guys. Mm -hmm. It's a bead. It's an uncommon item with a cost of. Not gonna tell me. Of a cost of. Of. Small crystal bead. <laughs> it generally doesn't have a cost, apparently. Yeah, it, it probably. Tri you just cut out. What was that? It's probably trivial. Mm. Maybe. I mean, as long as it's not super I mean, expensive, I should be able to use my instruments, right? Yes, but. They're they're charging quite a bit of money for it. A crystal bead? Yeah. Cause it's considered a magical item. Oh. But it doesn't seem to matter too much. Because isn't it like 50 gold that you can go up to or something like that? Yeah. Mm, I think. Yeah, 50 gold. And then... And they're they're charging between 25 and 150 <laughs> for it. Mm hmm So, yeah. It, it would just depend, I guess. But since it doesn't actually have a price on it in the spell itself, yeah. I would say go ahead and you can use it. Mm-hmm. With your instruments. <laughs> yeah. Let me emphasize that. With your instruments, yeah. Uh, I mean, it, it? it's a ritual. So if you cast it with a ritual, it's going to be out of combat. Ah, oh, but it's only a 10 footer. Well, 10 foot radius. Hmm. So it would be like 20 feet across. Yeah. And, and it does say like nine creatures of medium out. size. Or smaller. So they even tell you the like the capacity. But I looked at that and I don't know if it'll like just negate any encounter or give you like an advantage or something, but it seems like it would be good if you cast that on your camp. And like, one, it would be hard for anyone to find you now. And if they do find you, they can't even get to you. Uh 
Okay, and how long is it? It lasts eight hours. Eight hours, yeah. Self radius ten feet. Um, okay, hold on. Let me check something. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Where's the ruler? No, where's the draw circle thingy? Okay. Now zoom in. You know, I kind of wish it would allow us to tell tell them what radius we want. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's try that again. So that is five. Radius of five. That's a radius of ten. Five, ten. Yep. That's a radius of ten. Right there. Just to. Why is yours bigger? That should be ten right there. Yeah, I put in ten. Uh, ten. Yep. No, I meant the circle I made. Mm -hmm. But the circle, because it is on this center here, it's five, ten. Uh, well, hold on, it's a little small on this side here. And a little big on that. Because see, this center square here is five and ten. So, I mean, technically, that's a little bit bigger than 10. All right. Because I went from the extreme of my own square. See that? So the square that, like, Bindle occupies right now isn't counting towards the radius when I do it. Because it, oh. the aura emanates from outside your square right so yours is actually like more precise mine is like an aura of yeah either way it's not that much bigger or smaller or otherwise yeah but that ain't very big either no we would have to huddle or you know Cause I, you, but that would be good for like a quick short rest yeah a short rest where it's only about two to four hours or something like that mm -hmm. I, mean, I wouldn't necessarily say it would be good for like a camp or anything because you kind of are a, you tend to be separated yeah because you're all huddled around the campfire mm -hmm. but I, I'd say it would be good for a short rest well, see, the good thing about it is the atmosphere inside of the bubble is always comfortable. So you wouldn't, comfortable, yeah, yeah. So you wouldn't need a tent. Like the bubble is the tent, so everybody's under that same tent. So, you know, you put your barrels like, you know, like a flower, you know, configuration. Everybody would sleep comfortably. Know what I mean? So if you think of it as just like one big tent, so you wouldn't need your individual tents. But again, I, I don't know how that would affect the encounter rolls. Like, I would probably say it probably has a health of some sort too. I would literally give it a health. You'd give it a health? I would probably give it a house. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it seems pretty strong. Like it, it almost seems like a better version of a, of the force field spell. There's like a force wall spell or something like that. That and it also doesn't go below you, so you can be attacked from diggers. Mm hmm Yeah, pearls. It, yeah, it doesn't say anything about under you. But yeah, I would also probably give it a health of some sort. When would you get this? It's a third level ritual. Hmm. Oh, and you can change the lighting of it too. Mm hmm The inside. Yeah, so I would imagine that would help with the encounters, but I don't know if it's too powerful to just say it would negate them. At but we could also just ban it or limit it. No, no, I'm not going to ban it. Well, because, like... There's, I mean, there's also clever ways of getting around it, too. If, say, a bunch of goblins found you guys in your uh, roles, well, um, the goblins are smart enough to set up an ambush for you guys and when Wait the spell ends. Yeah. And then they could also have their shamans and bugbears and hobgoblins already ready for you guys, and then you'd be in serious trouble. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it's something that you guys also would have to consider. And it doesn't protect you from underground burrowers, which I was actually planning on using, by the way, <laughs> sooner mm -hmm. or later. Um, the other catch is, is um, the dome is opaque from outside of any color of your choosing but it is transparent from the inside. So it looks like an object that shouldn't be there. <laughs> yeah. So that's the other thing. But at least you guys can see outside of it too. Mm -hmm. But that that's something you'd have to also consider. There are ways around that for me. Yeah. But also, ultimately, I think I would give it the same number of hit points that you have. Well, that's not a lot. Yeah, and there's no missing that either. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I would probably give it the same number of hit points as you, is probably how I would do that. So yeah, I don't, I don't mind you guys using it, but that's a, what, a level, third level spell? When do you get it? Next level? I think so. No, no yeah, that. I, I would say the best for it would be sh quick, short rests. Yes, 
That makes sense. Not necessarily a long rest unless you're in a campsite like you are now. I wouldn't recommend it in a cave <laughs> for a long rest. But, I mean, yeah, otherwise... But I'm not going to tell you not to use it either. Go ahead and use it whenever you want. But it's immobile. It lasts eight hours unless you leave. And it, um, it does not protect you from underground. No. Hello. That, those are the major hey. statements to that one. Uh, so D and D today, huh? Mm -hmm. I can't hear you. Hold on. You're always so loud, and now you're really, really quiet. Okay, try now. Testing one, two, three. Okay, still too low. La la la. Oz! Welcome. Hello. Hickman, give me a minute. You're still too low. How about me? You're perfect. <laughs> okay, try now. Testing one, two. One more time. Hello, hello. Testing. There we go. Okay. Uh, yes, we're doing D&D &D today. We're doing D&D &D talks today. <laughs> Uh, We're doing D&D &D everything today. Yay. <laughs> and I'm making a factory. Well, yeah, and he's making a factory. Mm -hmm. Oz, Oz, did you see the new kitties? Did you not see my comment? Oh, wait, hold on. Which one? The one that you... Hold on, hold on. <gasps> the Path of Exiles does have a comment thingy. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, they're awesome. So I you, wish they would meow more. So I swear you get 20% cast speed and 100% DPS on them too. But that just could be because they're so awesome. Exactly. <laughs> but it's, it's not just the cats either. They have it, impact effect. Like if they hit a wall, they do this swirly somersault thing and this impoof. <laughs> and when they hit a mob, as they go through a mob, you get a Sparkly purplish poof. Oh, I know it's so cool. I love them, and it was a pretty cheap microtransaction too. But there's no meows. I was kind of sad. Yeah, especially since the video had the meowing. Well, that's only Tarky's video, and he was using the regular cat summon to do that. That wasn't. No, no, I'm talking about the. Um, video where they were showing it off. I didn't hear any meows. I think you're lying. I heard one meow at the beginning. I think you're making it up. <laughs> or it could have been their um, uh, their pets that were meowing. Total possibility. Okay, we're going to take a quick little break so I can... I'm just saying I think your imagination might be running away from you. <laughs> wishful thinking. Yes, wishful thinking. All right, BRBs. I'll be right back, guys. Me too.